Diesel engines are rugged, they are economical, they should last a long long time, especially if you follow some simple maintenance tips. Hello everyone, I am Bogdan, I help people upgrade their cars and these are the lessons that I've learned by working on many many diesel engines. At number one, I would suggest do shorter oil changes. The 5,000-6,000 mile oil change or once every year is the golden number. The reason behind why you want to do this is because oil gets diluted, oil loses its properties, humidity accumulates in the engine, increased acidity follows, and as vehicles are getting older, the oil changes are even more important. Select a decent oil, a decent oil filter, and just change it. Your life will be much better for this. Don't ignore the diesel fuel filter. One of the things that I see being ignored by many technicians and even by car owners is the diesel fuel filter. Sometimes it is because it is hard to reach. Sometimes it is because you will need a diagnostic tool to prime the fuel system so that your engine will start. Sometimes I see it ignored because actually it is an expensive filter if bought from a reputable manufacturer. Whatever your reason might be, I would suggest changing it every two oil changes to keep your vehicle running for a long time. EGR, throttle body and the intake. Clean all of these ones. This is one of the dirty and time consuming jobs. Actual technicians don't like doing it because there isn't that much money into it and there are a lot of things that can go wrong. But if you take the time to actually perform it, you will be saving on the potential of buying a new EGR, a new throttle body. You will be prolonging the life of your swirl flaps and your intake ports and valves will be in a much better position for your vehicle to burn that fuel effectively. Monitoring air leaks, oil leaks and fuel leaks. As vehicles are getting older, rubber, it will fail, pipes are going to fail, connectors and gaskets are also on the failure list. Humans that have worked on your vehicle can induce secondary damage and there are all sorts of things that can contribute to oil leaks, fuel leaks, pressure leaks, air leaks. The important thing here is to listen for strange noises, for hissing noises. The important takeaway is to open up the bonnet and inspect for oil leaks, fuel leaks, coolant leaks. All of these things caught in the beginning could save you on expensive DPF repairs or all sorts of other crazy stuff that can fail due to something that in the beginning was very small. Changing the coolant every four years. The coolant is one of the most neglected replacement maintenance components that I have seen. It has some complex chemistry. People don't understand it and they do not see how this small little maintenance can have such a big impact. Inside of the engine you have very small channels for the coolant to flow. You have the radiators, you have the HVAC heating matrix, you have your water pump. All of these components need to be as clean as possible, they need to be lubricated and avoiding corrosion in them is essential for you not having to pay a lot of labor to reach these components. So every four years treat yourself, buy the right coolant, don't cheap out on the nasty stuff and you will be much much happier down the line. Monitor engine temperatures. Keeping an eye on your engine temperature gauge is something that should become second nature. The temperature is telling you exactly like for your body, if you're having a fever, if you're hypothermic, it is giving you a clue that something is not working as it should. The temperature gauge, it's a real-time indicator of the car's vitals. Overheating can happen very, very fast for all sorts of strange and complicated reasons and catching it early can make the difference between saving an engine or totaling a vehicle because the engine repair is too big. So pay attention to your vehicle's temperatures and if you see that gauge reaching the red going too high, stop the vehicle and investigate what's going wrong. Monitoring fluid levels, this is oil and coolant. Your vehicle relies on oil and coolant to do its magic and operate safely and effectively. Low fluid levels are an indicator that something is happening and they should not be ignored. 
oil is crucial so make sure that you have enough oil inspect color smell consistency and if there is a lack of replace with the adequate recommended oil for your vehicle the same thing goes with the coolant coolant should be at the right level should be replaced with the same type as the manufacturer has described should be investigated because coolant doesn't miraculously disappear so where is it disappearing from is your EGR uh, using the coolant is your head gasket allowing coolant to go where it shouldn't also inspect if you have contamination oil should be in a place coolant should be in a different place fuel is in a completely different place if you are starting to see these chemicals these fluids mixing it's something that really really needs to be investigated so don't leave it for too late performing diagnosis and investigating your vehicle let's say every six months modern vehicles are equipped with all sorts of onboard diagnostic systems running a diagnostic scan every three months six months it's something that is easy to do now it's even more affordable because diagnostic tools are almost everywhere and anywhere you for sure have a friend that has a scanner or if you don't you will be able to find a specialist that is able to perform it at a decent price so although there might not be a warning sign on your dash there might be some indicators on different computers telling you if something needs to be addressed what did i miss what are you doing differently what are the secrets for you to keep your vehicle running for a long long time you might also want to see some content regarding diagnostic tools over here or some content regarding dpfs over there in the meantime thank you for watching and see you in the next one